this very special episode. <laughs> We're going to be adding a line voltage um, thermostat to the whole house fan. Emerson Collie installed now. And it's made in the USA. And I've always wanted something that was uh, Dayton branded. So we're going to begin by putting another hole in the wall. I had a snafu again. I wanted to put it right here and there's something solid right behind here. I don't know what it is. I mean, I'm just assuming it's just the two by fours, but you know what I mean. I don't know what's right there. So I'm going to put it above it. But that screws up my little sequence here, but oh well. Uh, the, and then if you don't know, if you say, it's not to say, why don't you use a stud finder? For those of you who don't know, I have plaster walls. This house was built in 1970 to, uh, 1971. The walls are about an inch thick, and they're like concrete, and they have a wire mesh in there. Um, Here's a sample right here. That's why I can't use a stud finder because it just won't detect the studs because of that wire mesh. But that said, you know, this will work just fine. Just I'm not gonna push it all the way in, but yeah, there you go. Put it right above the speed control on off switch for the fan itself. There you go. And this is also going to save me because one thing I was going to get into was how am I, if I was going to put the thermostat here, the studs right here. So uh, the only way I could get power back down around the easiest way without having to rip everything back up is the junction box for the fan itself uh, right across from it. I was just going to run a 14 2 wire back down here, you know power comes down and switch the thermostat power comes back well now I'm just gonna take it right here and you'll see what I mean in a minute we're getting there um, what I'm doing now I have a little um, Allen wrench in there doesn't mention this in the manual but this is how you adjust the thermostat um, it was actually up too high like it was like wanting to turn on the house is 70 I kept thinking the house was like 75 and wanted to turn off at 80. So now I kind of got like a right, um, the hysteresis on it, right, right in between where it should be. So like example, the fan's off right now. It just clicked. So if 70, 70 straight up and down, it just turned on and just turned off. So you got the hysteresis part, like you get the middle of it right in the middle where it would be 70 right now. So there, that's calibrated. All right, this is actually the next day. Um, patched my holes I made right there. So after that dries, I'll lightly sand it real quick and then I'll paint it. So with that said, everything's nice and neatly aligned. Perfectly level, all three. And there's the house thermostat. It is 53 degrees out. Uh, November 26th, uh, Thanksgiving. Just got home from my parents, Harley and I. And, uh, so this is how we're going to do this. We're just going to test this thing out. Um, I don't know if I mentioned in the previous video. Um, there's a set screw in there to precisely adjust this. So it's 70 in here now. That would turn it on. At about 68. There's about a plus and minus two degree swing. And then it would shut off at 71, 72. So I'm going to do this. Uh, you turn the main control on. And then we'll turn this on and watch it operate. So. Fans on. Huge rush of air. I have two windows open, one in the bedroom, a big one in the living room, and we'll just watch this until it shuts off. So right now, let's just say it's set at about 68 degrees. 
it's not going to shut off until about 66 and it won't come back on until about 70 where it's at and uh, I know out there for modern whole house fans they have most of them all just come with timers that won't do us any good I don't like that I want it to run as long as it can the whole purpose of this thermostat is we, we leave it on high this was like an afterthought we didn't think we need a thermostat well and the speed controller and all but it works so well it changes the air if the outside air every two minutes in the house and um, uh, what it is like we'd le go downstairs you know and it would be nighttime you'd come up here and it'd probably be 60 degrees 50 degrees in the house so this let's just say we set the thermostat here for like 67 it would shut off at 65 and turn back on in the morning when it warms up around 69 degrees. So that would work perfectly. So now we're just going to leave it run and watch it cool the house off, at least this section, because I don't have two windows open. And, uh, you know, it works flawlessly. It's a line voltage thermostat. And uh, it works the opposite. Uh, basically, this is just a heater thermostat. Instead of it being a normally open operation, it's a normally closed operation. Hence, the th why the thermostat's backwards. Um, if, this was, if this was a heater thermostat right now, it would have turned on, you know, or I'm sorry, um, turned off because it's warmer in here, you know. And um, I know another manufacturer makes this, but you know, it's from Granger. But I always wanted to get a date and branded product it's made in the US like I mentioned and it's actually very heavy it's very well made and all these uh, speed controls and everything there and uh, everything you see here is um, made in the US so uh, we'll just uh, leave it run and watch it turn off now instead of me standing here waiting for it I just set it up on the bookshelf here um, one thing that's interesting about this hall though anytime I operate this whole house fan any heat that is in the house that passes through the hallway the as you see the thermostat already went up uh, the house the house in a furnace furnace thermostat went up by a degree already so what it, it I notice it'll do despite the cool air being drawn in the, the, the thermostat will go up by one or two degrees before it starts dropping so and you can probably hear the fan just fine in the background um, so we'll just leave it run until it shuts off and just show its operation. This will be perfect for in the summer or, you know, spring or anytime it's cool out um, enough to where we don't need the air conditioning. Uh, just set that so the house doesn't get too cold at night and comes back on in the morning. It will be perfect. There, the fan just shut off. Well, it's a few weeks have passed since the last video clip. It was off a little bit, so I adjusted that set screw and got it precise. So it'll shut off right where I set the, the pointer to and turn back on two degrees later. Warmer. And um, that's it. So, got a nice little cluster going here of, um, you know, climate control items here, both for the HVAC system whole house fan and attic fan controls including manual override and pilot light status and this is the manual that was included with the yeah it's 10 o'clock what do you know Dayton oh, and here are the specifications on it being Granger it was definitely also designed to be used in a commercial setting so you know it's not gonna fail it's made in the US and it was actually, we got it pretty cheap off eBay, but it was about like 40, even 40, 50 dollars in. So, and that concludes this uh, prob possibly, and I would I'll say possibly most definite final modification we needed to do to this fan. 
because originally it wasn't intended you know we didn't think about putting a thermostat in but <laughs> it cools the house exchanges the air every two minutes in here so if it's 60 degrees outside it's guaranteed it'll be 60 degrees in here shortly and if we're downstairs we want this shut off so there you go hope you enjoyed the video please click like and subscribe and I'm getting a bunch of messages.